Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick update on Chrome browser 111.x as well as what exactly happened with Selenium for this particular fix. So Selenium has released 4.8.2 and then on the same day they have released 4.8.3 as well. And this will fix the problem that you are facing with Chrome browser 111. So the issue was uh, when we don't add these two lines, like if you don't add remote allow origins and if you don't supply the CEO over here, we were not able to uh, enter the URL after that. It was just launching the browser and then we were getting some connection error there. Let's see, for example, if I have commented these two lines and if I remove uh, this Chrome options object from here and when I run this, let's see what happens. And I'm still using 481. So we were facing this issue. You have seen uh, in my previous videos also. Uh, and uh, this is the issue that we were facing, right? That connection failed exception. Uh, now, in order to fix that issue that we have to pass a CO here, and then we have to add this part particular allow remote origins also. But now they have given this particular fix. So if you go to their official Selenium GitHub page, we will go to 182 tags and let's go to the release. And in the release section, we will go to Java or any programming language that you are looking for. And now you can see that after 481, this is a 482. And I mentioned in the last two last video also, remember that I told you 482 will be there very soon. And in 482, they have given that fix. You can see uh, adding remote allow origins for Chrome and uh, adding remote allow origins for Chrome stereotypes at the grid level also. So they have fixed internally. You don't need to worry about it. You can check their official code also. In the last video, I have already uh, shown you that as well, <clears throat> that internally they have maintained this allow uh, remote allow origins. So now uh, what we do need to do, we need to update or upgrade our Selenium Java version. Here you can see that now on the same day, they have released 483 as well, that big fox fix uh, bug preventing adding items for analyst for Selenium manager command. Internally, they have added that and then uh, supported CDP version also there as well. So. If you go to <clears throat> Selenium Maven also, let's go there and uh, open Maven repository for uh, Selenium with Selenium Java, for example. 483 is not listed. Maybe very soon it will be listed here, but you can see 482 is available and they recently released like uh, the date is showing 24, but uh, yesterday only it has actually uh, appeared here. And uh, now let's make it to 482. So let's 482. Simple save it and let's update the build uh, Maven and then update the project. Okay, so now we have uh, 482 and then again come back here. In 482, you don't need to add these two things. I mean, remove add arguments or allow remote origin the way we were doing normally <clears throat> web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. And uh, let's see, is it really working or not? So, yes, it's getting launched and uh, it should enter the website url also yes it's getting entered and now you can see that it is absolutely working fine driver is getting closed and then welcome to Naveen automation labs title is getting printed perfect so this is fixed now now you don't need to add this ugly code start okay you can start removing it if you have already added in your framework or uh, when you were doing practices you can just simple remove that now it's absolutely fine there is no impact on Firefox or other browsers. It's absolutely good. There is one more small thing. They have actually, I observe one thing here in the Selenium Manager because my unit test case is also were getting failed. So I observe one thing. If you remember in Selenium 460, they released the concept of Selenium Manager. It means Selenium will take care of all the, uh, all the binary path and everything for .exe files. And uh, what exactly we were doing, let me remove this line. And uh, let's go with the Chrome options object that let's see I have created, or let me just comment it out. So if you remember that uh, we used to write this code, Selenium manager dot get instance method is there. And then if you see this method, get driver path. Earlier get driver path was taking only string. Okay, now it's saying you have to give me the capability option. So this is the small change that they have done in the Selenium manager. So earlier, what exactly we were doing earlier, we were passing hyphen hyphen, a Chrome driver, something like this, just to know about where exactly your Chrome browser is available or Chrome binary file path is available. Now, what we need to do, it's not taking the string <coughs> uh, parameter. You just need to create the object of Chrome options. No need to add any argument and then simply supply the CEO here. And then after that, you can just get the path of your Chrome driver binary in your system. 
and just print it. So let's see. So whatever the binary is available in your system, and see it's launching the browser without any problem, and then it's giving you the path here. So this is another small change happened in 482 and 483. So you can just update it. No need to pass the string here, right? So I'll do one thing that uh, 482 is officially listed on Maven repository here. You can see that, but in the official documentation on GitHub, they say, okay, 483 is also available. So let's try with the 483. If it is giving the error here, then uh, we, we again move it back to 482, but let's save it because I think on the Maven side, it's already registered. Only thing is it will be displayed. It will be listed here in next couple of days or maybe by today, but I'm using 483 now and it's not giving you any error. Let's uh, update the Maven project. So right click on your project and then um, go to Maven and update the project. Perfect. So 483 is available. If you really want to cross check that yes, Selenium Java 483 jar files are there. And then you can just quickly cross check that it's working fine or not without any remote allow or use. Okay. So I would advise you to better to use 483. And um, yeah, this is absolutely good. It's launching the URL and everything is fine now. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Now stop using this uh, uh, remote allow origins, this uh, unnecessary ugly code. We don't need to add it and start using the normal top casting like driver equal to new Chrome driver. That's all for this video. Please share this video with others so that uh, people will get to know the new changes. Maybe people are still using this one. So ask, ask them, okay, yeah, please remove this. Share this on the LinkedIn, also other social media platforms as well so that people will get to know about this feature. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video.